The King's New Robe. Characters in order of appearance. Weaver, King, King's Minister. Setting, a faraway kingdom a long time ago. Scene 1, at the edge of the kingdom. 1. Weaver, to audience. Did you hear about the king and his new clothes? No, it started a couple of weeks ago. I heard about this king who spends all his money on clothes. All of it. So I thought if I play my cards right, I can make some serious money out of this. Then I made a plan. Scene 2. A few weeks earlier in the king's castle. King, why is this weaver standing here? Weaver, mighty king, I am no ordinary weaver. My cloth is amazing and magical. In a robe made from my cloth, you will outshine the sun. Also, only noble people can see my cloth. Come on. Common, low-born people cannot see it. King, thinking, I must have a robe made of this cloth. Then I will be able to tell who is truly noble to Weaver. Here, Weaver, take this sack of gold and buy what you need to make this cloth. Make me the most beautiful robe the world has ever seen. King's minister, thinking, I think I'm in trouble. Scene 3. A week later in Weaver's workroom. King's minister, the king has sent me to see if the robe is finished. Weaver, pointing to, to an empty hanger. As you see, minister, the robe is complete. Are not the colors rich and vibrant? Isn't the pattern amazing? King's minister, thinking. I can't see a thing, but if I admit that, then everyone will know I am not noble to the weaver. This is indeed beautiful. The color is outstanding. I will bring it to the king at once. Minister leaves and then returns with the king. Weaver, here is your beautiful new robe. King, take off your clothes, old clothes, and try it on. Isn't it as soft as a butterfly's wing? The king takes off his robes and stands there in his underwear. The weaver pretends to put a new robe on the king. Minister, king, this is a very handsome robe. It uh, makes your eyes look so blue. King, thinking, I can't see a thing. Am I not the most noble person in the kingdom? But I can't let anyone know I don't see it, to the minister. Minister, lift up the hem of my robe. I will go out and show the people my beautiful new clothes. King wearing just his underwear and minister holding up nothing, leave the room. Scene 4, at the edge of the kingdom. Weaver to audience. I didn't wait around to see what happened next. I took, a, I took the bag of gold the king had given me and I left the castle in a hurry and I never looked back. Number 1. Underline details in the text below that best indicate the weaver's motivation. Weaver, audience, did you hear about the king and his new clothes? No, it started a couple of weeks ago. I heard about this king who spends all his money on clothes, all of it. So I thought, if I play my cards right, I can make some serious money out of this. Then I made my plan. Part B. What conclusion can you draw about what the weaver wants? A. The weaver wants nice clothes like the king. B. The weaver wants to see the king's nice clothes so that he can design similar clothes to sell for a lot of money. C. The weaver wants to make money off of the king who spends all of his money on clothes. D. The weaver wants to play cards with the king. Two, read the sentence below. Also, only noble people can see my cloth. Common, low-born people cannot see it. Which answer choices best tell the meaning of noble as it is used above? A. Rich. B. Of high class. C. Belonging to the poor. D. Smart. Number three. Which sentence best describes the lesson of the play? A. Don't be tricked by sly weavers. B. Don't wear your underwear in front of everyone or else you will be laughed at. C. Be willing to speak the truth regardless, regardless of the consequences. 
D, don't spend too much money on clothes. Number four, which detail from the story best supports your answer to question three? A, common lowborn people cannot see it. B, I can't see a thing, but if I admit that, then everyone will know I am not an, a noble. C, but I can't let anyone know that I don't see it. D. I took the bag of gold the king had given me and left the castle in a hurry, and I never looked back. Number five. Who did the weaver say would be able to see the clothes he made? A. The king. B. Common-born people. C. Noble people. D. The minister.